Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So guys, today we're going to actually look at how to on your Samsung Galaxy S8, how to enable and disable the scan QR code from your internet app. And the scan QR code feature is actually built into your device. So by default, you do not need on the Samsung Galaxy S8 and other similar devices to actually download an additional QR code scanner. There's actually one built in, but it's disabled by default. Now to find this QR code scanner, all you got to do guys is find internet. And the internet that you see here is simply the is simply the built-in browser. I have additional one, but this is actually the beta version. I'm not gonna actually use that one. So this is the default one that comes with your device. So just launch your internet, which is the default internet app. All right. Once you're in here, just simply click on the menu here. Once you do that, you'll notice the menu. And you're gonna go to extensions. Once you're in extension, guys, notice it says QR code reader and it says it allows your phone to scan and read QR codes. Alright, so just enable that feature or turn the toggle on. Once the toggle is on, guys, next you're going to come um, exit the menu. Once you exit the menu, you're going to enter the menu again by clicking the three dots, upper right. Once you do that, guys, notice it says now scan QR code. And if you're taking notice, this is the QR code um, scanner. And this QR code scanner is actually built into the browser. You have the option to turn on um, your flashlight. You can actually also um, load a QR code. If it's not directly, it can be stored on your device. And I like that feature. So all you got to do is find a QR code that's stored. And let me show you one of my personal QR codes. All right. And here I have a personal QR code that leads to my website, which is blogtechtips.com. You can actually scan this one. You can take a screenshot or just pause the video here and scan. And of course, with this QR code, you can actually go over to the main website blogtechtips.com all right so i'm just going to scan with this and i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about so i'm just going to go back let's go to um internet i'm just going to open up i'm going to hit scan qr code once i hit scan qr code i'm just going to select from my um gallery once i do that guys and i'm in here what i'm going to do next is just hit on the qr code and of course there you go that's load up blogtechtips.com and of course guys this is my website as i said before so you can actually check it out all right. All right. So guys, next I'm just going to exit and that's how you basically scan a QR code. If the QR code is locally stored, all you got to do is just do the reverse and I can actually show you that as well. So let me just show you how to scan something that's local. So it's going to go back in. It's going to go let me change this page here. It's going to hit scan QR code and let's say it's something that's on my device such as this one here, as you're seeing here on my um, smartwatch. I'm just going to scan. And notice, it's actually opened up the link. And there you go, it actually opens up Google Drive. So this is actually a link to Google Drive. And it automatically opens up the link. All right. So as you can see, guys, if in this case I could actually download the app, that's for my smartwatch. So I'm just going to um, exit this right now. And guys, that's it for the built-in QR code. You don't have to actually download additional QR code. All right, guys, so this is Carter from Blog Tech Tips. And bye until next time. Bye.